I recently received an email um, requesting that I do a video on um, dumping the contents of an EEPROM chip to an SD card. And I've already done one video on uh, EEPROM chips in general, how to read and write to them, and another video on writing to a data, log a data logging SD card. But um, So in this video, I'm just going to dump the EEPROM contents to an SD card. I'm going to first write uh, some known values to the card just so I can demonstrate that it works. And it reminds me a little bit of, there's an American TV show called uh, Halt and Catch Fire, which is a fictional show about a, a company in the early 70s. And they, they take an IBM BIOS chip and they reverse engineer it. They didn't have a um, Arduino, they used LEDs, so they, they went through every address of that BIOS and reverse engineered it to get the instruction codes. Um, so this this is an EEPROM chip that I wrote to, but um, if I can find a BIOS chip, maybe an old Phoenix BIOS chip, I may, I may try to do something like that in a future video, reverse engineer it, not for anything illegal or, you know, I'm not going to reuse the code or anything like they did in that fictional TV show, but just to, just to show that it can be done. Uh, so uh, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so this is the circuit I'm going to use, and uh, so this is a data, lo data logging shield made by Adafruit, um, and I did a, a previous video on this on uh, reading and writing temperature values um, and date time stamps to the SD card. Okay, so this uses a SPI protocol, and it's just... Uh, just plugs into the Arduino, which is underneath it right there. So this is just a data logging shield. And then, so this is the EEPROM chip, and it holds a, a 64K. And I've also done a previous video on this, so I'm not really going to go in how to wire it up. It's wired up the same way as I did in the EEPROM video. Okay, so um, I've already written the values to this chip, but uh, I'll show you the code I used to do that, and I'll post that link to the code in uh, in the description of the video. Okay, so this is the, the sketch I'm going to use um, that I used to write the values to the EEPROM, and all I really did, okay, so this EEPROM is uh, exactly uh, 65,536 bytes long, so I'm just going to start at address zero, so I have write, write to EEPROM, okay, I'm going to set the initial value zero, and I'm going to go th loop through every memory address um, and write write the value, then increase the value by one. Once the value gets to 255, because that's the maximum uh, value a byte can hold, I'm setting that up here. Um, once it gets to 255, I'm going to just reset it at zero, and then it's just going to keep repeating that. So it's going to fill up uh, all 65,536 address values uh, with just a, a series of bytes beginning with zero and then going to 255 and then repeating and then just for debug um, I have the read from EEPROM so when it's done writing it'll go through every memory address size memory every memory address and then read the value and then just print it out to the serial monitor uh, if you run this this is going to take a while um, so you you may, instead of going through the entire memory, just maybe go through, I don't know, the first 1024 bytes. And if it looks okay, that's probably enough. It, it probably worked, okay? Um, these read address and write address, um, I talked about in the, the EEPROM video, so you can maybe take a look at that just to see what these do, if, if you're wondering. Um, okay, so all the values are written to it. Okay, so now the next step, I'm going to uh, through a different sketch, read the values and write them to the SD card. Okay, so I'll call that one uh, EEPROM dump to SD card. Okay, so uh, the the shield is an SPI protocol shield, so that's the data logging shield with the SD card. So you include these libraries for that. Uh, the EEPROM chip is I squared C, so you have to include wire.h. And like in my EEPROM video, this is the address, the I squared C address of the EEPROM chip. Okay, so um, I just have some constants to clear my file of uh, file types. That's the SD card. Okay, so in the setup, initialize I squared C protocol, initialize serial bus, and then init SD. So that's gonna 
uh, basically set the, set the pin. I don't really need this pin mode nine out, but pin mode ten is the chip select. So um, it's it detects the card, detects the reader, make sure it's able to read from it, and then or write to it. Okay, so then it opens it, and I'm just calling it dump.txt, setting it for writing. Checks to make sure it opened it. Uh, if if so, it returns true. If false, otherwise. Okay, so. Okay, so that's it. So if if it returned true, everything's okay. It's ready to go. Um, I call a function just read from EEPROM. Okay, so then so that's similar to the, what was in that write sketch. I just loop through um, every memory address and read the value at that address. Um, this little section is just for debugging. So every 1024 bytes every kilobyte it's going to write out to the serial monitor that it, it read one kilobyte um, I'm going to clean this code up before I send it up to the um, a link to it in my description so all these comments will be gone but uh, okay so then it's going to write that value in decimal format to the SD card so that's what this my file print line read value in decimal you can do it um, hex or binary as well if you want so that's that's really all that does is just loops through the memory addresses um, writes out a uh, debug statement every one kilobyte and then writes that value to the SD card okay and then this read address is the same one I've been using um, so that's that's really all there is to that sketch so uh, next step I'm just gonna kinda run it and show you uh, what that looks like Okay, so I just plugged uh, the SD card into the data logging shield. Okay, so I'm going to hit the reset button on on the data logging shield, which is connected to the reset button on the Arduino, and start the sketch. Okay, so successfully opened dump.txt, and this this is just some debug it, as it goes through. Uh, after every kilobyte, it um, just writes out that it wrote the total number of kilobytes. Okay, so now we'll I'll remove the card from the day logging shield, um, put it into just uh, an SD card reader I have connected to a USB port to my computer, and we'll take a look at the file. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the card. I've got paint on my hands. That's what all that white stuff is. Um, okay. And plug it in to that. And then that should pop up. Okay, so this is the this is the card. It's a 32 gigabyte. It's actually a micro SD card, but it's in a, um, a SD card adapter. Okay, so there's, there's a file I created called dump.txt. And I just open that up. So these are all the values that are that were written to it. So like I said, it just starts at zero, goes to two fifty five, then it restarts at zero again, two to two fifty five, restarts at zero. So it just keeps doing that till all sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six bytes are written to. So that's just to kind of show that it works. So I guess one reason you might want to do this maybe you you were storing values on an EEPROM card excuse me EEPROM chip and you recently got a maybe a an SD card adapter for the Arduino and you want to start using that because it's bigger so like say so this this SD card is 32 gigabytes and that obviously is a lot bigger than the the 64k of that EEPROM chip so maybe you didn't want to lose those values you could just dump dump those uh EEPROM values into your SD card and then start using the SD card in place of the EEPROM, something like that. Or like I said at the beginning of the video, if you wanted to maybe reverse engineer a BIOS chip or a ROM chip and just see what's in it, uh, you, you would have to have some documentation on the, the assembly language instructions that it's using, but just to kind of um, see what the chip is doing. 
um, you could use an Arduino, dump the contents to an SD card, and then go through it that way. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching the video.